Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So obviously big news of the weekend, no Greek deal. Uh, referendum to be held on the 5th of July to talk to ask the Greek people if they want to accept the bailout or not. No extension of liquidity to Greece. Capital uh, controls in Greece. You can't withdraw more than 60 euros a day if you're a local uh, from cash machines. And currently there are huge queues of people uh, trying to get gas, trying to get food, trying to get money out of the banks. Obviously, everybody all waiting till after uh, the deadline to try and take the rest of the money out. Uh, we've never seen queues like it on the build-up until today. Uh, and I've just been looking at some images online, and Greece is a bit of a mess. So, looking at European and uh, global markets, most equity markets um, feeling the pain this morning. Gapping down lower, even as far as China. Chinese stock markets down, um, limit down again today. Uh, the Chinese version of the Nasdaq down another seven percent. It's actually down thirty-three percent in just a few number of in just a small number of days. In fact, it's down about twenty percent in three days. Uh, German DAX currently is down four and a half, almost five percent. Uh, with most European bourses just opening as I'm recording this video. So the UK 100 gapping down much lower, uh, and uh, but it has managed to rally back, back up uh, just below potential uh, resistance at 17,747. Um, but we're basically just waiting to see how the rest of the other markets react when stocks actually start trading. The Greek stock market is going to be shut for the week, as are all Greek banks. Uh, so that that should be contained for now. But as you can see, the UK 100 gap much lower. So this is where we closed there on Friday. We actually almost hit um, 6,500 at one point. Uh, so we're quite a far far bit away from the session lows. Um, so we're currently close to 65.89, or quite close, but just at 60. 6,600. So moving on to Japan, 2 to 5, uh, you can see we also had a gap this morning, uh, 20,087 is support level to be aware of right there. And then moving on, on to dollar yen, dollar yen again off the session lows, was quite close to 121.87, spot 87, uh, but has managed to rally back up to 122.87. It's euro dollar that I will have a look at, that's for the any major euro FX pair. Uh, we should have significant moves on it. Looking at um, crude, that's down uh, as well. Uh, trading below potential support at 59.50. Currently trading a dollar below that at 58.50. Gold not doing as much as you would expect. Same with the yen actually when we looked at that chart. There's not a lot of safe haven buying, but there's lots and lots of selling. Uh, and that's just pretty much right across the board looking at the, at the end of day charts. And uh, you can see there we are just below 11.86. To be fair, that has been a, a resistance slash support level for a number of months, and today seems to be no different in that regard. So let's have a look at Euro dollar. Uh, Euro dollar having, it's again off the session, those gaps way lower, went all the way down to uh, one spot 09.55, uh, but has since rallied it a lot back. So it's just below potential uh, support slash resistance at one spot 11 now. Uh, and most other, I'm just noticing here as the markets is opening, um, those uh, German DAX now down almost 5% just as the, um, the underlying markets begin to open. And uh, But as you can see there, the uh, euro a dollar has managed to make up a little bit of that lost ground, uh, but it's failing currently to break above one spot 11. Uh, which will be acting now as a potential resistance level. So then finishing up with GBP USD, it's faring a little bit better, but one spot 57.43 is still a short term potential uh, support slash resistance. So it's broken support now, expected to act as resistance from the wrong side of that just now, with lots of negative um, kind of technicals on here, crossover the MACD, um, cro bearish cross on the RSI, and the, slate, and the same for that slow stochastic there as well. Pressure will be on. So, what is expected to happen later on today? Um, well, if you keep your eye on financial stocks, uh, they're probably going to be feeling the brunt right across every major index. Um, you can just see here that the Germany 30 down almost 5%. UK 100 is actually performing relatively okay, uh, considering uh, down about 2%. Uh, I think it's very much just that we're a little bit in, in uncharted territory right now. Uh, in regards to what's going to happen next, markets don't tend to like that. So people will be taking money off the table, but there is bar bargain hunting opportunities for those people that like that white knuckle ride. Uh, we just don't really know what's going to happen with um, with, with Greece next. And uh, if we do go to a referendum on the on the fifth of July, I think it's highly likely that the Greeks will vote to have the bailout, and uh, there will be new elections called in Greece. Uh, but somebody has said it's not too late for a deal to be reached. 
uh, but the market's obviously react. You can see the you can see the Germany theory actually down more than five percent now, as we're as we're recording this video. So that German market getting hit particularly hard. Basically, keep behind the chart forum. Keep looking at insights. Our global analyst team will be doing lots of updates on here to make sure our uh, clients are well informed. And uh, join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.